morning to everybody. Hopefully you had a great day. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a odd day here weather-wise uh, with the wind starting to pick up. And uh, But it's going to be good because it's starting to cool down. But beyond the weather report, our gospel today is from Luke chapter 4, verses 38 through 44. And it's this scene where uh, in Capernaum, Jesus goes to synagogue, the east synagogue. He goes to Simon's house where he finds his mother-in-law. Yes, Simon was married. Uh, she's sick, cures her, cures a bunch of people in town. They all went in the stay. He says, no, i got to go promote the kingdom of God to the whole of the world. And, and he does that. So he, that's part of his mission. And so what's great about this? Well, I was reading, I've been reading this book, still reading it. It takes a little bit because it, it's so good. And I'm rereading it, actually, because I read it a couple years ago. And I need to come back to it. But it reminded me, you know, that... Again, that God created this world in, uh, in harmony. Everything was to be in harmony. And humanity was to be in harmony. And that then because humanity chose a path of violence and death, uh, that all the sickness, all the chaos uh, entered into our world and Jesus restores this. And so we see this in them, this kingdom of heaven, where Jesus is restoring harmony. He restores harmony to this woman who was sick. And even yesterday we were talking, you know, it's that old question, why does God permit you know, cancer or sickness? Well, God doesn't. You know, it's our choice again because we choose to pollute our air, our food, our water, our grounds that we cause all these sicknesses. And uh, so it's our choice because we choose the death of violence. And what Jesus comes is to restore that right choice to say, okay, where can we choose? How do we choose? life and harmony and to be in that harmony and jesus shows us the way and so it's a it's a it's a wonderful book it just excites me but for us do whatever our choices for this day i mean how are we being agents of healing for other people how am i going to choose life and not not violence and death and how am i going to help persons you know how am i gonna maybe hold back my tongue and be less grouchy or forgive someone instead of being passive aggressive. You know, those are the things that I see in myself on a short list right here uh, that that I do. And so it's about making the better choices, responding to that grace that God gives me to make the better choice towards life, towards healing, towards harmony. All right, guys. So that's my uh, spiel for the day. I will see you here back tomorrow. Uh, tonight is the Plates East Poverty Dinner at Atlantis, so if anybody's going to be there, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.